Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluate composite functions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Okay. Well, our first thing we're looking at here when we evaluate composite functions is let's look at a table. We're given a table here, and our table has the x column of 1, 2, 3, 4, f of x column, 6, 8, 3, 1, respectively, and g of x. 3, 5, 2, and 7. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to evaluate this. We want to evaluate what is f of g of 3 and g of f of 3. Okay, so the first part here, we want to go find the f of g of 3. Okay, well, that first part here, f of g of 3, well, what's g of 3? 3 as for x, if it goes into g of x, right, so if x is 3, what's g of x? g of x is 2 there, okay? Then from there, we have f of 2, so when x is 2, what's f of x? And that is 8, so we plug 2 then back in for the x value, or 2 is our x value, and that gives the output of 8 for f of x. And there we have it right there. So we'll evaluate the next one, g of f of 3. So what we're going to do, okay, is find what's f of 3. When x is 3, what's the f of x value, and that is also 3 as well. Okay, so we have g of 3 right there. Then from there, 3 is a new input, 3 is on the x value, or in the x column. What is it for g of x? It's 2. So g of 3 is 2, so g of f of 3 is 2 right there, okay? All right, so let me erase this, because the next part we're going to do uh, is with some graphs. So there's a table, we're going to do with some graphs. Okay, so we're using a graph to evaluate a composite function. We want to evaluate what is f of g of 1 here. And we're given that graph over there. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Okay, we want to find what f of g of 1 is. Well, we first want to find what is g of 1. So we look at the g of x function, the first one, and we want to find what is g of 1. So when x is 1, what's the output? The output there you can see is 3. So when x is 1, our output is 3, so g of 1 is 3. Okay? Then, with that information we're given, plug it in. So f of g of 1, well, g of 1 we know is 3, so now we have to find f of 3 here. Well, it's f of 3. So we take the graph, the f of x graph, the second one, and we see, okay, the input there, the input of uh, 3 gets plugged in, so the x is 3, and we look up and we see 6, the output of 6. Okay, so an f of 3, 3 input, output is 6 there. We can see that here with uh, the other graph here that shows the arrows. Now, it's the first one, g of x, input of 1, it goes up to an output of 3. Then the second graph is f of x, input of 3 goes to the output of 6, which gets us our answer here of f of g of 1, which is... Six. Be careful with this stuff here. Make sure you're looking at the right graph and not getting confused. A uh, common mistake students do is they flip things around, look at the wrong graph, and go from there. So be careful. Make sure you're looking at the right, right graph. Okay. All right. So I'm going to uh, erase this, and we'll dive into the next part. All right. So now what we're going to do is evaluate composite functions using formulas. So we're going to evaluate composite functions expressed as formulas with a numerical input here. We're given f of t is equal to t squared minus t and h of x is equal to 3x plus 2. And we're going to find, evaluate, what is f of h of 1. Okay? Alright, so what we want to have here f of h of 1. Well, the first thing I like to do is find h of 1. Okay, so what is h of 1? 
what is h of one? Well, h of x is that three x plus two, and we're gonna plug one in for x right there. All right, so now let's simplify. Three times one is three plus two, and three plus two is five. So h of one equals five. We then take that output and we're plug it in for that input, the whole h of one. We already found that, right? So now we wanna find what's f of five, because f of five is equal to f of h of one, right? So what's f of five? Well, now we look at the f of t function, right? So we take five and plug it in for t, so five squared oh, minus, minus five in for the other t. Five squared is 25, minus five here. 25 minus five is 20. So, all said and done, f of h of one is equal to 20, and there we've, we've got it. We've got some practice here with that. So I hope you learned something here on how to evaluate composite functions. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math